Hello everyone. I just want to make a quick video before the elections because the election will be very turbulent if it comes. Today is the 5th of November. We have three days until the elections. Many prophecies foretold that we are not going to have U.S. elections. This originated with Glenda Jackson. She has been accurate with other parts of her prophecy, which already came true, like President Obama's election for the second term. So knowing that martial law is coming and seeing all the manipulations that Obama is doing, trying to accomplish chaos, I thought this might be the case, that the elections will be postponed, but as of today, I just don't see what could happen that would postpone the elections, but we are three days away and the Lord can change that. He can start bringing for judgment any moment. And also, the election is three days away, but that does not mean that Obama have to leave office in three days, so he can still declare martial law before he leaves office. And one thing is for sure, he do not want to leave office. Somebody saw him in a dream or a vision. He was talking to a Muslim, hitting the table, that I cannot leave office. This is my destiny. And that person, the Muslim, answered him and said, We know how to stir up trouble. You just do what you can do. So anything can happen. Now let's talk about that the Lord's choice is Trump. There is no question about that. He gave it to very many different sons and daughters. And many have seen him in a dream, in a vision, and the Lord introduced him saying, this is your president, so this is what he says. He used many kings and many leaders in the Bible, in the Old Testament, that he accomplished his will in spite of those people were not his children. They might have been against Israel. Maybe the Israelites were in exile, but he turned the king's heart and accomplished his will, and he will do it again. And so that's what he said. He will use Trump, and please do not get caught up in like or dislike. It has nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with God's will. God's will to come true. He wants to use Trump, and he will use Trump, regardless of the outcome of the election. I think that I would like to share with you more than anything is one of the most trusted prophetic voices in the nation and in the nations. Apostle Chuck Pierce, he is the founder and president of Glory of Zion International Ministries. He has the most accurate prophecies for decades. Nothing falls on the ground without coming true. And I will just read from him a part of an article which includes his wisdom and that would give us a great light. So hold on until I begin to read. This is from Charisma Magazine on November the 2nd. Chuck Pierce of Glory of Zion International Ministries has been waiting for the 2016 presidential election for eight years, having already prophesied the rise of President Barack Obama will travel in the country in 2005, three years before his election in 2008. The Lord cut him up a few months before the election with a new word about the future of the country. He said it's being played out right now. This is a quote from Chuck. We were praying in Liberty Park in New Jersey. There were about 2,000 of us gathered there. He showed me that in eight years, there would be a triumph of the people. He showed me 21 states are in alignment, but each could come into alignment. Now, what he means alignment is alignment with God. So I asked how America will shift, and he took me state by state. It took four hours, but in the end, he told me, America needs to learn how to play the trump card. That was eight years ago. The trump card, he said, is Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump, who he has been watching the Lord put into a prominent position over the course of this election cycle. He hasn't endorsed the businessman turned politician, 
but he believes the billionaire will play a key role in our nation's future. The 2016 election and its outcome have far less to do with Trump and much more to do with prayer and making timely decrees that will shift the power structures in America. There are only two possible outcomes, he added. America either makes an incredible shift to realign those structures with the Lord, or new structures will be put in place that will control our nation greatly for years to come. So he is speaking of the God's people returning to the Lord and taking responsibility for their prayer lives and make the creed so let God be God and bring it forth or to be oppressed by the Antichrist system. Bring forth the kingdom of God because understand that either way there is a paradigm shift. Everything will change either for good or for much evil. Back to Chuck Pierce's quote, Mr. Trump is very not part of the structure. He is going against the structure which has turned our country away from the Lord rather than back to him. The only way we are going to see our nation move back to the Lord is if we tear down the structure which is stopping justice. Pierce said the election all boils down to a Supreme Court, and he urges Christians to vote for what is necessary to bring back God's ruling order to the High Court. Likening Trump, who has pledged to install judges of that type if elected, to Jephthah from the Book of Judges, he said Christians need to get past liking a candidate, noting the Lord used Jephthah, a very wicked man, and others to restore Israel. Now, I have read about Trump many disturbing, I don't know if it's an accusation or have any foundation to that, I don't know. All I know is that, of course, there is a great slander of his character because he made it clear that he will pull down the Illuminati and all those power structures of the Antichrist system and will disclose information. And that really turned the heads toward him and tried to discredit him every way possible. Now, going back to the article, when the Lord removed the Jezebel spirit out of Israel, he didn't do it with an existing structures. He called up those judges. He said, without those three judges, the right prophetic voice, and the transformers, it wouldn't have happened. We are rallying God's people, and now we will watch as God begins to take America back again. Regardless of how the election goes, there will be a major shift in America. If Trump wins, the U.S. will be better aligned, economically with other nations, and Israel will once again have a strong ally. If Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton wins, we will drift further from Israel and, as he put it, the Cold War will get colder. Or, I would say, the Cold War will turn into hot war. That's my addition. He said, My heart would be for the Lord to let you people play the triumph, that means the trump card. He said, We need to have a more triumphant spirit in the nation. And Christians need to learn to pray more strategically. We need to be better timed in how we make decrees. He also said Christians need to vote based on how they want to be visited by the Lord. In the Bible, one of the definitions of visitation is to cast a vote in an overseer role. He said Christians have become caught up in whether or not we have a good candidate to vote for But that is not the issue. We would vote for visitation. How do you want to be visited? Then that is how you should vote. We should be voting to overturn the structure in America. Pierce said the Lord told him Ohio, Nevada, and North Carolina will be key states in the election, particularly North Carolina, which he said will be 
the deciding factor in what will happen in America. But even as we prepare for election day, he said, Christians need to be prepared for what comes afterwards. The body of Christ needs to do our part. We need to be sure we are pressed in for a change of our nation and then leave the results up to the Lord. We are really in for some big surprises. I think America is more volatile than we know, and whichever way the election goes, we are not going to be in the same type of nation we have known in the past. That's why I wrote in my book a chapter on why Christians need to learn war. That's the real key for a Christian. Do you have faith to pray? The Lord warned us a lot about the kingdoms on earth, but His kingdom is a nation above nations. We know that prayer can change a course of a nation. End of quote. But the scripture says, scripture says the kingdoms of this world became the kingdom of God. So every nation included. This is so important. And the Lord is really stirring up my spirit to quit all that I'm doing the way I am doing it. Because to report on things is really not the way. The way is that we pray. So I will go into the present and get clarity and direction from the Lord how to start this movement to unite the Christians and to start praying. Or whomsoever willing to pray with us, who is with us is not against us. So we pray for the nation and for everything. Now, until now, all of my videos were geared towards exposing the darkness so those who are unbelievers they would be seeing the wickedness of the word and understand the separation and understand what it means that the Lord is going to work through his people and taking us into the next dimension after the rapture. Those who have understood, find those who haven't understood, they will find it necessary to understand true what's coming. So I will have to refocus my attention towards be light bearers, to be those who are making a difference in the nation as opposed to just repeating what the word is doing. It's irrelevant what the word is doing. The word is going down into the pit and we need to rise above and make history. So praise the Lord. Let's see about this election some more. But before, let me tell you about Glory of Zion. You can find them online and watch all their services and i think that is the the example ministry how to build a kingdom they have a wonderful prayer group come together in odd hours and make decrees and prophesy and just do exactly what it takes to reface this nation according to god's will and that is the only way god's will and that's exactly what it means to vote according to visitation because when you will be face to face with the Lord and go against his will with your vote are you ready to face him for judgment when you work against the will of God and you call yourself a Christian don't get into opinions of who is the right candidate nobody is the right candidate the only thing that matters is what God wants he can turn any heart and he can make the donkey talk and he can wash the filthiest robe white as snow as he did for us he all had something to wash away with the blood of Jesus so we shall not judge scripture says do not judge so you shall not be judged that doesn't mean you cannot tell the truth and the facts that you know about somebody that's not judgment that's telling the truth so we, for the duration of the rest of the time before the lord actually taking those who belong to him we have to continue also share the word share jesus not just me but everyone else so i i dearly encourage you that if you do not have uh, another way to reach out then just send them to this channel or whatever you choose but send the people to these messages 
so those who are unsaved would understand that this is what's coming because many people are yet unsaved and I'm greatly struggling of reaching out even in my immediate environment because people have a very hard time to hear so give them the option at least to hear going now back to the elections we have finished with glory of Zion and going back to where the Lord has said that he will use Trump and Obama is very much against that he wants to stay in office in order for him to go further up to the UN and so forth I know that he is trying to break out third world war and Putin put out not one but many warnings to the United States which the American news media will not broadcast. These are facts and these are very critical ways and I encourage you to please go out and vote. Do not sit at home and think that one vote doesn't make any difference. It makes all the difference even with all the corruption that is going on with these elections. I was just listening to a conversation between Alex Jones and James Wesley Royce who has a blog. He is a political analyst. And so they concluded that hell can break through any moment. Title of the video is World War III Top General Warns Quote End of Life as We Know It. And that's what the Lord says. Everything will change. End of life as we know it. And the day of the Lord was also said that it's now coming so all this will suddenly come and so the news is full of world war three another title says putin warns america that world war three is unavoidable new update so all is happening as far as hillary concerned well I don't know if you did your investigation or not, but she is a criminal. She could be charged with any federal crime and any felony, including murder and child molestation and child trafficking and child abuse. She is a satanist. She is a devil worshiper. She is just absolutely the moral zero. So. WikiLeaks is leaking and there is more to say about her. The evil world system is backing her up. Obama is backing her up. The reptilians are backing her up. She is able to even have out-of-body experiences to partake in meetings in the spirit on the Orion, which is really the high council of these evil entities. I mean, she just some serious, serious trouble. And... um a shame that we are talking about her emails which really just such a small part of her person and of her agenda and of her past you may want to go on youtube channel tori smith t-o-r-y to dig up some dirt they murdered him too three months ago but his videos are still there and uh, some of you may want to download that too I just went online to check my facts and I saw how the Secret Service pulled Donald Trump off stage because there was a threat. But thank God he is well and thank God that he is under divine protection. So pray for everyone, please. We don't want people to be killed now at all. But the good news is that there are thousands upon thousands upon millions of people who want to make this right there are many many people who were um, dismissed by obama discredited by obama fired by obama they are high military officials admirals and so forth lawyers everybody was either removed or killed so those who are still living they do have a force they do have a voice they work behind closed doors they are bringing for the republic they are against corruption, they are against all this darkness. I mean, if you hear the Andromeda Council, they were fighting the reptilians. They say that they have won. So there are so much going on behind. I think this is just the last breath of the Illuminati and the last breath of the evil system. Because God is greater and he's now taking back America. And so we just need to walk with him and make sure that we do our very best 
in our own capacity, no matter how small we think we are, we are great because we have to do what we can do to make this word into a better word, to make this word transition into the kingdom of God because that's the only way. This, we are already living in eternity. The earth already reached the resonance frequency of eternity now. Just every people need to be changed, need to be redeemed into the kingdom. So this is really happening and we are just looking forward to everything that is bringing the change. This is just the beginning and the end of the evil world system. So please go out and vote and God bless you. Praise the Lord of the Most High. He is in control. But we need to pray. Wherever you are, please now pray for Trump. Pray for the elections. Pray for safety. Pray for everyone's safety who is going to the polls to vote. Pray for God's will be done. Come in agreement. Make decrees. Know what God wants to do. Then decree it in the name of Jesus. Please don't be passive. Wake up. Hallelujah. Now we know the evil system will do just about anything to push Hillary into position, perhaps to remove Trump. I mean, they have no problem doing that whatsoever if they could. There is one sister who has a lot of dreams and heard in, in a half dream state that if Hillary will be a president. Now, if Hillary comes into office, that does not stop Obama from declaring martial law before he leaves. So, how long she would be in office as a president, we don't know. That can change once these riots and everything begins. Now, I am going to put on a short video segment from Reverend Mary. She is very accurate in my discernment. I think her videos are very important. I would strongly recommend that you watch them. Here I only put on the segment which is concerning the election. And this itself is a 30 minutes video. You may want to go back and watch. The title of it is Trump win slash bloodshed slash calamities. And then all her videos are just important. And she was the one putting out videos on preparation for the coming days that's a must see because you have no idea if you haven't heard her speaking you just have no idea how bad it will get so praise god um, with this i finish this video putting up her story and you be blessed and again please go out and vote you are very 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 important more important than anyone else in this we trust the Lord for Trump's winning. We pray for that since that's his choice. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before your holy throne with thanksgiving and praise. And thank you, Father, that all things are in your hand and that you have our best interest at heart and you desire just to return to you to have a family, a loving family, so that you can heal the land. Your word says that if your people who are called by your name would humble themselves and turn from their wicked ways and pray then you would heal the land and lord we just ask that you heal the land and we are now arising to come before your throne with prayer every day so that we would be a vital and organic part of this healing process not excluding you but actually following you calling for the leading of the holy spirit every day and trust that you answer this prayer lord god and bless everyone who is listening bless everyone who is not lord let not one person perish without knowing you let your will be done in every life you already know who are those who will eternally reject you lord we just ask that there would be no freak accidents and satan would not take any souls we pray for them. We also pray for President Trump that now his journey begins in your kingdom and he will become a new creation in Christ Jesus just like all of us. In the name of Jesus I pray and I bless you and I bless everyone and I praise your holy name forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ,
This is Reverend Mary. YouTube channel is Reverend Mary, and I would like to welcome you uh, in the name of Jesus. I'm going to share words that have been given to me for uh, Wednesday, November the 2nd, and then a word that was given Thursday, November the 3rd, about the upcoming election. Brothers and sisters, there is an urgency in my spirit, and I pray that there's an urgency in your spirit to be praying every day that passes for this election. to hear my voice. There will be times of much suffering. No comfort, no electricity, no running water, no TV, no computers. How do you think people you will be? You should surely store up like never before. I tell you now and sternly warn, sternly warn, swarms of evil will soon abound. Death and destruction, be prepared. Entire cities the are laid to the ground. Uh, Thursday, and this is, and it was given at 444. This is a word about the election, and I had already put a previous video on about the election and how the urgency had been in my spirit that there would be um, violence and that we just needed to pray. Well, here's a word. It says, this is an election like no other. The corrupt po political leaders act abrupt. The apple cart is most assuredly turned upside down. Watch out. They mean to take this election by force. They are in rebellion of the people's voice. Electee, not their choice. Beware of surroundings. People raise their voices. This is no time to rejoice openly in public square. I mean in public and on Times Square. Pray, saints, pray. This is a chaotic and violent day. Evil lurks in the dark, much evil plotting. Someone is spotting, waiting to take a shot. Much alarm. A state of utter shock due to harm be safe at home chaos and violence in the streets bloodshed you shall see this election may not even be rioting looting from both parties you'll see people are divided and when divided you fall this nation is in need of a lot of prayer people have become intolerant and just don't care rid yourself of pride this is not a time to be boastful and loud in a crowd there are ticking time bombs of evil deeds waiting in the weeds. Stay awake and alert. Take yard signs up out of the dirt. Give not one a reason to hurt. Evil deeds run rampant in the hearts and minds of the wicked. I hear the sound of violent cries as one lies on the ground. With people all around, it is your right to cast the vote. But be sure of this note. Evil, wicked people have plans up their sleeves. Evil seed, evil seed, a rare breed of hatred will be. Pray, my children, and rebuke this evil day. Chaos and violence from corrupt seed. WikiLeaks has more beans to spill. It is enough to seal the deal and make it clear. The choosing of your next leader, that is. And that was the end of the word. Она обеспечила нам глобальный мир на протяжении десятилетий. Как его можно разрушить, так я не, не знаю. Мне кажется, что это очень опасно. Не только кажется, я в этом уверен.